You are watching MTG Cribs on MTGO Academy featuring Ryan Cribs. Um, welcome everyone. I'm back with a constructed daily event. It's modern. I'm playing a very sweet list that I saw I get second in a premiere event. And it's playing with one of my favorite cards of all time, Benjavine. <laughs> if you're not familiar, um, Benjavine's a 4-3 haste for 4. But if you play two creature spells in one turn, you can return it from your graveyard to play. So we're playing a Dredge of Ein deck. We're just trying to fill up our graveyard and get value from uh, bringing stuff back. Most notably, the Venge of Ein. I played this card a lot. I loved it. I actually uh, played a Bant Venge of Ein deck back when it was standard, even through when Cobblade was legal, because I just loved the deck so much and didn't want to switch. I did play like Jace in this deck, so I got to play all the best cards, but it was still pretty fun. So what we're trying to do is just, like I said, put things in our graveyard. We have ways with uh, Faithless Looting, uh, Grizzly Salvage, some uh, cards that were standard and are standard right now. We got a lot with Troll, discard cards from our hand, like Grizzly Salvage and Faithless Looting help us dig. We have Stinkweed Imp, which dredges for five, so it fills up our graveyard. Vigari Thug, which dredges for four. And then when we had the cards in the graveyard, we got some stuff to do. We can uh, play Venge Vines, obviously. We have Grave Crawler, which is a we can cast if we have a zombie. Now there's some sweet combos with this in the deck. So the main, like the other zombie we have is of course itself, and then also where is it? Lot with troll, which is a zombie. So that's one way we get it back. We can also uh, unearth uh, dreadscape zombie, which is a two one for two. Unearth is the same as flashback, except for it's a creature. So you pay a black, comes and play with haste, and in turn you exile it, and it's a zombie. So let's say we have no board and we like have a stinkweed in our graveyard. So we dredge five for our draw. We put this and a grave crawler and a vengevine in our graveyard, or two grave crawlers, like dream scenario. So we unearth this, cast our grave crawlers, and get back vengevine because this counts as casting. So that's really sweet. It's only one of, but it's a nice little tech. We also have one tie merit, the murder king. It's a zombie that you can get back from your graveyard too. So it also works with grave crawler and it allows you to sacrifice creatures for damage. Which other creature we get back is blood gas, which isn't a zombie. Unfortunately, it's a vampire. But it's sweet, you get it back with just a plane of land. Or even using a fetch land, so it's really awesome. To round out the deck, we got some Birds of Paradise for mana, just help us get ahead, and also helps us get back a Vengevine. Four Lightning Bolts to stay alive, and a couple of Abrupt Decays. And the mana base is a pretty basic for like a Jun type deck, nothing special. Black Cleave Cliffs, Blood Crypt, Copper Line Gorge, uh, fetch lands like Marsh Flats, Inverted Catacombs, Overgrown Tomb, Twilight Mire, a swamp and a forest. That's the main deck. It's really sweet. It's pretty tight. And it works very well with each other. We'll go to the sideboard. we got some more Abrupt Decays. Ancient Grudge for some artifacts. Creeping Corrosion 2. Dark Blast, which uh, kills little creatures. And also has Dredge. Nod to the Bone, which is really sweet. I play this card in Standard for a little bit <laughs> in some of my decks. So we gain two life for each card in our, creature card in our graveyard, so we can stay alive against Burn. Glagari Charm and Rakdos Charm, just because they're versatile and they have lots of different uh, applications. And then some just discard with the Inquisition, some thoughts uses. So that's the deck, and we're going to try it out. <laughs> 